Hey everyone, welcome back to Skyrim. Now if you recall, we just got kidnapped by the Dark Brotherhood. So, that's great. Um, so we're going to probably explore some area around here. Maybe check out what this area has to offer for exploration purposes, maybe. Actually, let's see what kind of quests we have in the system. We have the Dark Brotherhood start. The Break of Dawn. Stupid Dawn Guard quest. Um, more Dark Daedric stuff. Hmm. Let's go meet the Dark Actually, I don't want to do that quite yet. I don't know. Should I maybe uh, go say hi to all the members of the Dark Brotherhood and start my assassination quest line? Because, I mean... I'm really considering it because, I mean, like, well... Oh, we have my crabs. Oh, frostbite spiders, never mind. So... I don't know. I mean, I don't really want to get too involved with the quest line right now. I just kind of want to chill and do whatever I want to for a while. Hmm, but at the same time, I really want that Dark Brotherhood armor. This is not a fair fight. I'm gonna pull a Sherlock Holmes here, and uh, this mustn't register an emotional level. And then... Uh, let's see. First, open up inventory. Uh, Staff of Flames with Orcus Orc Devouring. Easy. That is like one of my favorite movie scenes of all time is in the first Sherlock Holmes movie where uh, um, Robert Downey Jr. playing Sherlock sees um, Irene Adler in the uh, the bar crowd and gets distracted and then gets a big old womp on the head for uh, being distracted in the middle of a fight. <sighs> Ooh, I'm sorry. And he enters that, um, that, uh, let's see, where he enters that, like, weird, like, Sherlock mind phase where he's, like, analyzing everything around him. And, uh, he goes, it starts with, this mustn't register an emotional level first. And then he, like, breaks down how he's gonna basically cripple the guy with, like, um, an in-depth review of what he's gonna strike with, when he's gonna strike with it, and how he's gonna strike with it. And then it happens exactly as he plans it to. I was that was a pretty cool uh sequence of uh movie scenes. Looks like there's a fight going on between something. I'm willing to bet bandits and necromancers considering what we saw earlier. Hmm.
conjurer, never mind. And there's a bandit right there. That was a fast strafe. Ugh, stop rushing me. As the kids would say nowadays, Victory Royale number one. Woo. Please have pity on me. I don't think I'll be able to play games like Fortnite just because I have a really bad problem of getting way too involved in what I'm doing. And that brings out a... a very aggressive... Um, I need to go sell stuff. Hmm. Ugh, why does everything have to be so worth so much? <sighs> it's not fair. How is the Khajiit supposed to make coin? Where's the entrance to this temple at? This is a Nordic temple, right? Let's go and sell all my stuff. Um, preferably Riften. <sighs> all right. What are you doing? That is not a sprint. That's a sprint. Oh? Got something I'm supposed to Let's see. Oh, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage Rifton. I wonder why. These notices to everyone I met. Looks like that's it. Got to go. I wonder why there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage. Oh. Oh, you're eating breakfast. My bad. I'll wait until you're. Have you looked around? Oof. He spends too much time worrying about Rifton and not enough about us. Maybe a fish. But if you see anything you like, I'll make you a good deal. If you're looking. There we go. Don't ask where I got these things from. Just deal with it. Alright. Now let's go visit the Forge Boy. And uh, see what kind of fun stuff we can do over here. Alright. Back to crafting. Actually, let's do... God, they're all so annoying. Alright. Alright. 
Gosh, he is such a con artist. Can you imagine like just trying to like make a living? Like, you know, you're selling jewelry, selling armor, selling trinkets from your home world, and then this dude just shows up. I'm selling bomber blood. It makes you live forever. See? I wasn't even exaggerating. What brings you to Balaman? To looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? I get to me that is kind of funny though, just in general. Like, you know, all these people are trying to make like an honest living, and then he's just like, it'll make you love better in bed. It'll make you grow an extra limb. You'll live forever. All with farmer blood. Everyone's like, just tr shut up, you stupid merchant. Everyone knows you're in the Thieves Guild. Vampire hunters or something. Enchantment off of these. So, probably should have actually saved that. I'm taking the enchantment off of those two. Did we have an appointment? No. Was it delivery? I can't remember. Huh. Organization, but I'm in the middle of some delicate experiments. That's fine, don't worry about it. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Um, maybe it wouldn't hurt to make some, um, fun enchanted stuff. What's my level? What's my enchantment level at, anyways? Actually, that's pretty high. That's such a funny name, Soul Squeezer. Since like a like um, 1980s um, anime villain. <laughs> I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> don't don't pickpocket. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, eh, lad? No, I earned all this money. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn the set. It's all about the way they walk, what they wear. Oh, but that, maybe you'd like a taste. I've got a bit of, and in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. This is like one of the only few guys I don't care for his dialogue. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from Strongball onto his staff. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branshaw's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants, now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. I'm ready when you are. Try and procure some fine goods tomorrow. See for yourself. <sighs> Does he actually have, like... Okay, so he doesn't sell anything really important, I guess. Keep your eyes to the road. Have anything you wish to sell? I may be dark elf by birth, but I was raised Argonian. For reasons I'm still trying to discover. I ended up orphaned and taken in by a kindly Argonian family in Black Mark. I hope one day to find out what happened. How I ended up. Keep your eyes to the road. Poor guy. New in town, eh? Here for the teaching. Okay, good. Wait until I... A pair of spiders and a 
All right, let's go. Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you? Just don't turn around, my DC. There we go. Stay away from that. Good for everyone. Over here. You didn't see me do anything. What is this thing called? Space and Frontier. Good. It's a rare opportunity. I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the first test. And it turned out to be crushed germ root mixed with water. Just let me know. I'm so sorry. I knew I shouldn't have waited. Looks like I can hear you. The way things have been going around here, it's a bit bad. But <sighs> you did the job and you did it well. All right, then. The group I get that in one piece. And we'll see if you really got what you said. All right, fine, whatever. I'm sorry. It's not like I haven't already been through the rat way or anything. Oh, that's weird. There's nothing but corpses. How interesting. At least I unlocked that gate last time I was there. What am I doing? Oh, there we go. The ragged flagon. Thieves Guild territory. You need advice? Talk to Brynjolf. He's got better things to do. We've all heard that one before, Brim. Quit kidding yourself. Guys, face the truth, old friend. You, Beck, Mercer, you're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, indeed. So what do you call that, then? Well, well. Color me impressed, man. I was reliable and headstrong. You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your can you not phrase it like that? A few deadbeats for me. They all are. I want you to explain to me. Kidava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Ah, Helga. And I can promise you a permanent place in the old. Honestly, the debt is secondary. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Good. If you need any details on your mark, I'll be here. Now get going. Don't you have something I'll be here when you're done. So what we're going to be doing now is um, threatening the poor people of Riften and convincing them to pay up. So something that I usually wouldn't be doing, but because it's part of the stupid quest line, I have to do it. You know, the difference between Skyrim and Fallout New Vegas is that, besides the obvious, in this quest, you have to go and, um, you know, basically go through the quest no matter what. I mean, there is a few couple secrets, but it doesn't really matter. In Fallout New Vegas, you could probably rally the city to turn against the Thieves Guild and call it good. Because Fallout New Vegas is a fantastic game. I might mod it and then do a playthrough of it. I was thinking you might like this. Here is um I was thinking you might like this. Did she just give me an iron mace? Here it's nothing really. It's 
so good to see you. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. All right. She just gave me an iron mace. That's so nice. Sure, sure. I'm a dirt to oblivion with all of you. You think you know pain, do you? Try watching your wife. Edda. She's crazy as a loon. But at least she doesn't have the mind to realize what a horrible world this is. She's the lucky one. Just leave this thing. Go far, far away and never return. This place is nothing but a rotten, stinking corpse that sat in the sun far too long. Do you want gold or not? Yes. Hmm? Hmm? You want something from me? I, I want to give you some gold. Yes. Fine. It's kind of cool though that uh, I didn't know the beggars would uh per give you uh money for, um, and that money uh materials and items and whatnot for assisting them. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I have to get money from her. What do you want? With the rumors, I'm not that foolish. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Urava has some family on a farm just inside of Morrowind. You mentioned you know about it. She might just listen to you. And please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. If you excuse me, I have other... Here for a room or something to drink? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. How could you possibly know about it? Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. <sighs> Here, take this back to Grimwald and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. I'm so sorry. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. All right, now I have to go to the pawn prawn and uh, pawn is prawn. Take my advice. Don't be down in the hmm. Oh, yeah, for the face sculpture was a thing. doesn't even bother to show up. In fact, he demands payment for... Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are... No! You're going to break it! All right, then. Please, I don't have anything to pay you with. Don't destroy my urn! Oh, my word. No! You're going to break it! Oh, my word. Hey, I can. This is happening. <laughs> Please. I don't have anything to pay you with. <laughs> don't destroy my urn. <laughs> oh my god. This is a really strong urn. No, you're going to break it. There we go. Oh my word. Wow. <sighs> I hate doing this so much. That old woman who runs the orphanage has been murdered. Say, didn't I see you coming out of there? I don't know, did you? Because if you did, I might need to change that. Oh. I know who you are. You've been terrorizing the entire city. My reputation precedes me. No need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. Good. Sorry about the mess. Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. You are tired. Hey. I'd appreciate it if you'd keep your hands to yourself. Work? 
I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Ever since my parents died and Helga took me in, it's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? So now I'm stuck living here while those pigs she calls customers gloat me and say the most awful things. It's not just the work, it's everything about her. She's disgusting. I think she takes her worship of the Bella a bit too seriously. Do you know she slept with three different men in the last month alone? What kind of woman would do such a thing? Just for once, I'd like to see her squirm, to rub her nose in it. Actually, there is, but I don't think I could get away with doing it. She'd kill me if she found out. You see, I happen to know, after she makes love, she gives her partner a token of her affection, called a mark of the Bella. If you confront her with three of the marks, you'd be so embarrassed. Well, I don't know what she'd do. Oh, this is going to be great! You need to get the marks of the Bella from Boli, Hofdir, and Indalin. Not sure how you're going to do that, but try your best. Then just confront Helga with them, and the rest works itself out. She looks really tired. Try and get those marks without violence, please. I don't want to be responsible for their deaths. Or yours. <sighs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I gotta do this, but I have to. Oh, it's because I already have the, the gift of charity, so I can't give another, uh, wait a minute, you, you're bully. New in town, eh? Here for the fishing. Beautiful Bob over. Hmm. All right, we're going to do this the, uh, Khajiit way. That's quick saving. Popping in. Hmm, <clears throat> darn. Ah, uh, this is how we do it when we don't get our way. That's not a song goes, but I don't care. <laughs> whoa. Hey, whoa, 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 don't bring her into this. That's kinda cool she goes to you she comes to your aid though. Alright. That's a lie. Fake news. I'm gonna get it one way or another, buddy. Either you're gonna give it to me, or I'm gonna steal it. But I can tell you this, no one's going to jail for my crimes. Don't look at that. Don't look at me like that, Casey. Alright, there we go. Nope. Sorry. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. All right, now the horse stable guy is another one of them. <sighs> Here's another one. He's right here. Okay, that was easy. I can't believe I'm going, I'm doing this quest. I actually forgot it existed, but I don't know. I felt bad for the tired eyes. Is it really? Black Bear Immunity? Alright. Hey, don't look at me that way. Who are you to judge me? 
Uh, it wasn't, but okay. Welcome. Allow me to recommend the Black Friar Mead, the purest brew in all of Skyrim. All right. Oh, hey. Nah. You have got to be kidding me. I was more stealthy than a banshee without their voice box. I don't know if that made sense or not, but I just said it. And what are you going to do about it? Absolutely nothing. It's a 57% chance. Statistically speaking, it should only be about three times. If anything, it should happen on the first try. Shut up. Okay. <sighs> you have got to be kidding me. You would think that it would only be like two tries. But that was try number three. So that was try number three. This will be try number four. I'm the brew master around here. And I am the pickpocket. Okay. So we have all the marks. Move. Okay. <sighs> I'm only doing this quest line because I feel bad for her because she has the tired eyes. Look, I got the message. What else did you... What? How? Where did you get these? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Look, we need to keep this quiet between you and me, okay? No one else needs to know about it. If word got out that I'm practicing my Gabellan arts in this king, they'll run me out of town. Here, take this and don't mention a word of this to anyone, especially Svana. Ooh. Just leave me in peace. Any luck getting the mark? Oh, I know. Isn't it wonderful? I bet you squirmed like a squeaver when you pulled him out of your pocket. I think things are going to be a lot different around here from now on. Ow. And I have you to thank for it. Here, I want you to have this. It was my father's, but I'm certain you'll put it to good use. I'm so happy that they can't hear into conversations. Not like you care anyway. Are you kidding me? Make up your mind, you bipolar. What's that word called? The weeaboo word. Um, for someone who acts like they don't like you, but they actually do like you. Um, shoot. I think it's Sue Andre. Yeah, with the T. Maybe, I don't know. Sure, sure. I'm a dirty bit. Why would you want to even speak? Oh, thank you. Divine bless your kind heart. Sorry. <sighs> All right. The field quest is done. I still need a screenshot. The ragged flagon is usually a pretty cool area to take a screenshot of. My screenshot game has kind of been down recently, though. Oh, oh well.
Maybe from this angle. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of a cool one. Oh, this isn't a... So not a good one where I can just like hit F6 a couple times and then it hides my stuff. Wait, I thought I turned show marker off. Oops. What did I turn off there? Hmm. Oops. There we go. Hold on, wait a minute. There. That'll make things more fun. Or terrible. If you're looking for conversation, the flagon is your place. So, job done? Well done. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Veterans, okay. We have a thing for you. So, so I'm kind of curious to see just how bad the difficulty got with that increase. Because if I've only been playing in adept this whole time and having those problems with the bow and whatnot, I might need to be a little bit more careful. I'm going to die a lot more. I think a good starting point would be Redwater Den and then traveling north from there. All right, let's go find out how uh, difficult the legendary difficult actually is. Oh my God. Okay. So it's no longer one slap, one kill for the wolf. Interesting. All right. The game just got a lot harder, but this is ASMR, not show off my crappy skills. So we'll keep it at adept. This is like medium and not, no. All right, we'll leave it at adapt, just because I want to at least keep things interesting, but I don't want it to be too difficult to the point where I'm constantly dying. All right, well, hey, thank you for watching. I really appreciate the fact that you stuck around this long. That means a lot to me. Now, this will be, I believe, uh, uploaded on Sunday of the 23rd. I don't know if I'll have an upload Christmas or not. I might record a Christmas special, but I don't know. I'm still kind of in this weird little uh, state where I'm not sure what direction I need to be going with everything. But anyways, I wanted to thank you for watching and hopefully you're having a good night and that this was somewhat relaxing despite the many atrocities that I've committed in the process of making this video. Again, thank you for watching. And have a fantastic night.